In the small town in Yorkshire, far, far away, a new day was dawning. A day when people were beginning to ask questions like never before. But alas, few could be found to give answers. Thankfully, a small group of people known as the Barn Folk knew of a secret way long hidden since the day of Greybeards. The secret would soon be unleashed. It was the way of catechism. Hello and welcome to today's catechism. So, today is our last question and it's a really big question. Does Christ's death mean all our sins can be forgiven? And the answer? Yes, because Christ's death on the cross fully paid the penalty of our sin. God graciously imputes Christ's righteousness to us as if it were our own and will remember our sins no more. Wow, that is a big question. I'm sure I've seen a video somewhere of a scientist doing an experiment that might just help us with this. Let's see. Good morning and welcome to the show. I am Professor Nin Kompoop. So that is not Nin Kompoop, it is Nin Kompoop. So we have an experiment for you today. As the, for the experiment, we need this, which represents our sin, and this represents Jesus' blood. Please excuse my jars, all my, all my test tubes are in the wash. This is our sin. This is what we cannot do anything about it ourselves. We can stir it and nothing happens. But when we take Jesus' blood, our dirty sin becomes clear. This experiment reminds me of a verse that is in the Bible. It reminds me of the verse that says, from Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, it says this, So your sins are like scholars, they will be as white as snow. And that is all for today. Goodbye and see you next time. So just like we've seen in that video, Christ's death really does mean all our sins are forgiven. Because Jesus died, we can be forgiven. The price is paid. Our sin is made clean. Jesus' death makes us right with God and our sins are forgotten forever. <laughs>